What happened today that made you happy? The paper I've been working on through my whole PhD got accepted. A hummingbird keeps coming to my window and hovering. No reason why but it is fun to watch. I misread a due date for a lab and thought it was due on Saturday. June 6th. But it's not actually due until July 6th so I don't have to be super stressed out about it. My Oriole family in my yard wrecked my feeder because it was empty. It made me happy to know that I can help animals in some small way. It made me laugh to know that they were all. Hey, where's the food at? Lady. Edit wow. Thanks for the award. Honey bee sat on my leg. Cleaned itself and flew away after about 5 minutes. Felt honored. The person in front of me in a drive through bought my breakfast. D. My stew came out better than the last time I made it. My boss told me I'm doing a good job. I underestimated how powerful yet scarce. Encouragement and praise can be. Got to see my friends. Been so long. I got my first job. Asked a girl I've liked for a really long time out. She said yes. Mom is doing better after complete kidney failure. Got called to apply for a supervisor position. Got an interview at another compi. A friend made too much banana bread and I get a whole loaf. A student wrote a paragraph on our online class about how much she enjoyed my class and how much fun I made it. Made my week. It's my birthday. I got a new job. I'm happy that I have more money in my savings account alone than I had in my checking and savings combined a year ago. Money doesn't mean happiness. But the sense of relief and security is making me happy. Went grocery shopping and the guy behind me at the counter wore a shirt from my favorite band, IDKY. But it made my day. Edit. For the guys asking about the band, it was Sabaton. The sun rays piercing through the morning clouds. It always puts a smile on my face seeing how beautiful it is. It's my birthday today. I got lots of texts from friends and family. But really my mom texted me telling me my age. X. And said. X years of sunshine in my life. Love you. I don't deserve such lovely parents. My 87-year-old dad was declared cancer-free. I spoke to an old friend. I demeed Arnold Schwarzenegger on Reddit and he demeed me back. My test results came back negative for coronavirus after being sick for the past 5 days. I'm still really sick and I was pretty nervous since I got tested but I'm happy it's not that. I heard the heartbeat of my baby for the first time. Got rejected from a job. They want more experienced people. But the co-owner of the company said my resume was very good. This is stimulating for me. Edit. Thank you for all the kind responses. It really made my day. My daughter told me she loved me. And that I'm her best friend. She's three. Almost four. Years old. I suffer from. Possible bipolar. Depression. And anxiety. So this made my heart swell. I don't know what I ever did to deserve such a precious child. Just typing this is making me tear up a little. LOL. My kitty climbed in bed with me this morning. Flopped down. Curled up next to me. And started purring. Visited a 10-month-old baby I removed from her parents two months ago. She used to be wide-eyed. Hyper alert and constantly crying and seeking reassurance. She's now a smiling. Confident. Comical baby with warm. Brown eyes who is thriving on the love. Care and attention from her new carers. Sometimes my job is actually worthwhile. My dog laid her head in my lap when I came home for lunch. I saw a bee. I met a friend today I hadn't seen in months. I fully shaved my head for the first time in my life. Wife was against the idea but I wanted to do it for so long and there is no better time to do it than now. I did it and after I showered. My wife looks at me with lust, thinks I look real sexy. My dad got a job as a warehouse manager that he needed so he doesn't need to work two jobs and he can see me and my family more. Edit. Don't think I'm being that guy but to whoever awarded my comment. I have been on Reddit for technically over a year. Had to make a new account. And made as much good content as I could being a 15 year old kid. To whoever awarded me you just made my day even better. Thank you. I just woke up. So I haven't been up for long. That being said I saw my wife walking around before she knew I was up. She was wearing a t-shirt and underwear. She was listening to a podcast and smiling. The sun was in her hair. It was a very nice sight. Started a coaching process with a new client. First one since the start of the COVID-19 crisis. 
cuddling with my cat this morning with a beautiful sunrise. I was able to eat a 32 centimeters pizza despite my eating disorder telling me not to. Because I am not allowed to gain weight. Told my boss to sell all of my vacation time except one week. Turns out I had 1,040 hours saved up. Should be getting something like $15,000 this Friday. Edit, there are too many to reply to now but for people wondering. I work a job that puts me on the road for 10 months per year. I am single without kids. And I like my job. And being out on the road. So my time builds up rather quickly. I usually take one week off. And I get a few days off for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I really should take more vacation. Though. Had a good talk with my boss regarding job security and such. Found out our company is fine and my job is fine. Lots of stress gone. I read this question, and it made me happy that op is trying to make people happy by making them think of something that made them happy today. I'm getting a kitten. I've wanted one for so long. And I'm finally getting one with my boyfriend. Currently sitting in the car waiting for him to lock the front door to our apartment so we can head over to Petco to buy the essentials and then a mini road trip to pick up our kitten. I finally have hummingbirds coming to my hummingbird feeder that I put up a few weeks ago. It's me and my girlfriend's one year anniversary. It's my dog's birthday. I get to give her treats all day and she isn't even quite sure why. I was playing with my puppy. My two-year-old daughter is learning to play Pokemon Go with me. From home, she is making her gamer dad smile. My two-year-old woke me up with some cuddles. Placed about 500 pounds of studs on a second floor patio around 30 feet away from myself and not only did the patio not collapse i didn't fuck anything up attorney touched base with me to get all the paperwork in order on the house i'm closing on next tuesday first time homeowner it's my second day back after 14 months of maternity leave the final three in lockdown when i came downstairs after a bit of a tough day my baby girl ran to me and threw herself at me for hugs and cuddles with the most beautiful laughter I've ever heard, she was just so happy to see me. Lifted my heart to heaven. I imagine this is what it must be like to own a dog. I voted for the first time today. My long-time patient passed away at age 89 during heart valve replacement surgery. I of all people understand that these things happen but was still feeling pretty sad about it. This morning I received a gift. Flowers, card, cookies, etc from her family saying how I was always her favorite doc and she always felt cared for every time she would visit for an appointment. That really made my day. My mom agreed to let me adopt a pet. Someone liked my meme and it made my day. Did well on an interview today. She said she was interested and I'll hear back by Friday. I am currently outside, enjoying my first draft beer in a few months and eating crab soup. My dog brought me her toy to play. She's 15 and spends most of the day sleeping now. So seeing her run around excited made me so happy. I have a cat who's really aggressive and territorial. Right now though. He's cuddled in front of my laptop as an attempt to get pets from me. It's really cute. 36 complete trips around the sun with my great wife. What a ride it's been. My girlfriend sent me some food because it's my birthday. Really cheered me up. I got coffee at a spot I used to go to with my dad. He's been gone 10 years but I still miss him. It had been a while since I'd been because I'm not usually on that side of town. It was a coincidence but it was nice to think of him again. Found out my wife is pregnant with our second kid. My SARS-CoV-2 test came back negative. I woke up alive. My son said, Dada, for the first time, pretty dang awesome. I saw a grandmother being goofy with her grandson in the park, for someone who's never had a good relationship with their grandma. I was a bit jealous. But it made me really happy to see some people share such a pure bond. I voted. I saw the back of my eyelids. Darkness. I was sleeping. That made me happy. I got my first post over 1k up votes. Found out my dog will walk again. Expensive surgery but so many people have helped. I went for a 3 mile walk with my dog. I could not do this last week because my knees are so bad. I got a cortisone shot and now I can take my buddy for long walks. My crush finally admitted to liking me. I'm in boys. Edit. Thanks for my first award kind stranger.
I skate on my lunch breaks and have been trying to land a trick I haven't landed in a while. The 360 flip. Before I went to skate, my girlfriend texted me and told me to have a good session and that she knows I'll land the trick today. I landed the trick today. That made me happy. But her text was what made the day for me. My city had protests last night and there was some vandalism and looting. When I drove through today, folks were out in force cleaning up. We finally were able to see the house we've been wanting to see and made an offer. Hopefully the buyer accepts and we can start packing up our rental. It's in the area we want our kids to go to school in. Down the road from our favorite wing place. We can literally walk there. And it's in a beautiful neighborhood. It was on the market two months ago. But the sellers took it off because of the whole COVID shit. Then they postponed putting it back on market to paint the inside. We've been wanting to see it and we're afraid that it was a list cause. I'm so excited to hear if our offer was accepted. ETA. The seller accepted our offer. I couldn't be happier. Work is almost over. That always makes me happy. I told my kids in a serious tone that they need to listen very carefully. Then I let one rip and made them all laugh. A moment later the smell hit them and they were trying not to gag. This is what makes dads happy. I had my birthday. I got a haircut. I went to the George Floyd protest in my small town. The protesters were 95% young people who were engaged and well behaved. The sheriff came out and listened to what they had to say. Identified a couple new plants on my morning walk equals. Maple leaf vibrunum and sheep laurel. 